Hola everybody, it's Nitpick here, and for this Bandmade Sunday, we are going to be checking out Play, the official live video. So I've checked out a couple of songs by Bandmade already. This is going to be the second live performance I've ever watched. So it's funny how I kind of checked out a lot of their studio stuff, and I did it kind of on purpose, mainly because studio recordings are typically what we hear a majority of the time. So I figured I'd just check that out first, but I think I've kind of gotten an idea what their live recordings are like, so why not jump into their live recordings? And from what I've seen the first time, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. So let's just jump right into this one. I need to, I have to go back because there's a lot happening, but it was just, in the Dice video, I had asked you guys if it was a good idea if I looked up the lyrics before actually like watching the videos and listening to the words because I don't understand what they're singing. But like, sometimes I like not doing that mainly because it's kind of fun to figure out the idea of what's happening. But like, first of all, I like I will admit I did not look up the lyrics this time uh, again. But what I do love is the title of this piece is called Play. No one can tell me otherwise that this is like the most playful thing I have seen. Like this is pure joy. Like you can see pure joy on Konami's face and like the just the joy of like trading solos back and forth with Misa it's just and occasionally there was like that one there was an interjection from Miku so it was just it's really really cool to watch that happen and I want to see that let's do that all over again baby <laughs> I love that Akane and Misa are just in time together. God! It's so clean! It's so clean! Oh! 
I'm just passing around. Oh, she's trading. She was in training with Konami. She was trading. <laughs> okay. My mistake. Yes. Oh, I love how hard this is. Oh my god. stop before like a chorus but I had to because I was I I want to go back to that spot because all of a sudden um Miku's voice what like it sounded like she was doing <laughs> some kind of like more gritty type she was doing a more gritty type of voice and it <laughs> It's effective. Like, I immediately was caught off guard, but like listening to her voice, it was like, it sounds aggressive and her voice is in, is very much in contrast to Saiki's voice. And I love that. It The contrast is just gives a little bit of a flavor of like this cleaner voice. And then all of a sudden, like, it's like the inner voice that's like yelling and just kind of having a good time or whatever. It's it's really cool to just see that happen. Also, these laser light shows, man, it is hype. That is so epic. I do want to go back a little bit. Okay, I think this is a spot I want to go right here. Ooh. 
back. <laughs> okay. Wherever that interlude was, was insane. It's just, it. okay, it wasn't very long, but like there's a lot to unfold there for me, at least I feel. Oh no, I didn't see the timing. I know I went back to like 2.16, didn't I? Maybe it's around here. I want to go back here, period. Like I, there's just so much happening that I wanted to go back. I love this bass and just a little bit of bass kick and drum with a voice. Raise your voice! Right here. Passing it around again. <gasps> Wait, look, I just need you to hear this one more time for me. I know I'm being super silly about it, but the fact we've got bass solo handed to guitar solo, and then not only that, we then get bass with this, with Akane doing this guru, guru, guru in the in the double bass kick like it's just it feels it's literally playful i i'm not trying to be punny but it's so playful i have to yeah, yeah, yeah. trade listen to that bass kick to like be scouring the internet for bandmade occasionally for you know maybe some merch here and there as i was like researching about the band a little bit and just kind of trying to get to know them before watching the documentaries uh, it's coming it's coming i found out that they were in my neck of the woods in 2022 and i cannot believe that I would have missed this. Like, I've talked about their music a lot. Like, we can keep pulling apart their music and talking about, like, the intricacies of the things that they're doing. So, like, there's a lot, again, a lot of talent, a lot of, like, built up talent. There's also natural talent. All musicianship aside, there is a lot to enjoy here. It's not just a show, it's an experience. Like, they're including their audience. There's audience participation. And how long, how often does that happen? Like, besides the audience singing along with the artists, which fine that's okay that's fine but this is different like she sings a line she hands it off to the audience and they just go and then they she sings another thing she hands it back to the audience and they come back at it and that that just creates a whole new experience for the listener so like yeah i can see why people love bandmade I understand. Oh my gosh. And from what I've heard, they're just really humble ladies. Like, come on. And good for them. I'm a little upset at myself. <laughs> I did not know who they were in 2022. God, it's fine. It's okay. It'll, my day will come.
my day will come in the sun. I will see Band Made Live, and you guys will be the first to see. Like I will show. I will vlog it. It will happen. <laughs> anyway, as always, I like to continue the conversation about music, so feel free to leave a comment down below. As you know, the next video will be the Dice slash Hate Lollapalooza video. Uh, so I'm excited for that and I cannot wait to watch it and experience that because again live performances are Insane. They're so good. So Anyway, if you have anything else you want to share with me down in the comments feel free if you have any questions for me I'm happy to oblige and answer so I hope you guys are having a good day or evening and I will see you in the next video Peace out